Uh, we're going to look here at the periodic inventory and we're going to start with purchases. But before that, I just want to point out that we have to notice here the template. I've got the balance sheet accounts here, assets, they're listed under assets, and then the liabilities listed under liabilities, and then jump over here to the income statement where I got the net income and then the net income or the income statement accounts here. Now, one thing that might look a little strange here is that typically when you purchase some goods it goes into an inventory account here under the assets and then as you use them it gets charged off against the inventory and it goes into the cost of goods. Well that's not the case here for a periodic inventory system. We record our inventory purchases here and you know, right on a net income statement. I guess the reason for that is that we use them up over the period or the year so rather than bring them in from the asset account here on the in deplete them out of inventory here we just charge them right to the uh, directly to the income statement so let's look here at a purchase of an inventory say we make a thirty thousand dollar purchase of inventory here uh, and on accounts so we increase that for uh, credit that for thirty thousand dollars and then the related debit here would be to purchases and uh, for merchandise here debit that increase it for thirty thousand uh, next here, let's look at a purchase return and allow and say we return $500 worth. So we debit or decrease accounts payable by that amount. And then we go over here and increase or credit the uh, purchase return and allowance account here for $500. Okay, let's look at a purchase discount. Say we're going to um, pay for $1,000 here worth of goods. So we take the discount. So we reduce accounts payable by $1,000. And then we go back over here and we take our discount. We credit or increase the discount amount here by $20. And then the balance we pay in cash here. And that we credit cash or reduce cash by $980. So, and then one other thing here, let's look at transportation in. So let's pay, we're paying for the transportation in here, let's say $200. We do pay for it in cash or we credit cash, reduce cash for $200. And then the related entry here is into transportation in here where we debit that and increase it for $200. Now, just to look here, the inventory account at this point has got, I just put a $2,000 beginning balance in here. So, the purchases accounts are on the income statement account, and the inventory account is on the balance sheet. Cost or goods are updated at the end of the period. Okay, here we're going to look at a sales under a periodic inventory system. So let's go here and let's say we make a sale of $10,000 on accounts receivable. So we debit accounts receivable, increase that by $10,000 and then the corresponding uh, credit entry here would be to sales under the revenue accounts here for uh, credit that for $10,000. So okay, say we have a sales return. Somebody returns $300 worth of goods. So we credit or reduce accounts receivable by $300 and then the corresponding uh, debit entry here would be to uh, increase sales returns by uh, $300. And then let's say we have a sales discount here. So we would have received the thousand dollars here or we receive money so we recruse reduce accounts receivable by a thousand dollars and then the sales discount amount or let's say it was two percent of that thousand dollars let's say it was twenty bucks here so we're sales discount we debit that or increase that by twenty dollars and then the corresponding debit entry here would be to cash for the balance or nine hundred eighty dollars okay now we, let's look at a uh, transportation out let's say we have to pay for some expenses to ship the stuff out so it costs us four hundred dollars so we credit cash reduce cash by four hundred dollars and then we have uh, transportation out here and we increase that debit that for four hundred dollars next we'll look at the periodic inventory here on a payment received so we receive payment on one of the accounts receivable so we credit accounts receivable reduce that and say I put down here fifteen hundred dollars so the related uh, debit entry would be to cash. We received cash here we, for $1,500. We increased cash. 
Okay, we're going to look at periodic, periodic inventory year-end adjustments to the cost of goods sold and to the inventory account. So throughout the year, we've been accumulating our inventory here in this purchases account under net income on the income statement. So let's say we have a net amount of purchase here of $40,000. Well, that's comprised of uh, all the purchases we've made, plus our freight in costs, and we total that. And then we subtract out the purchase discounts and the purchase returns and allowances. So we subtract that from our purchases up here, and then we come up with a net purchased amount here. So we're sitting with this $40,000 now. What we do here is we look at the amount that we have sold. In this case, I use uh, $35,000. So we reduce our purchases or credit our purchases for $35,000. And then the related amount gets transferred up here into the cost of goods sold for the period. So we debit cost of goods sold by $35,000. So what happens to the remainder? Well, if we had 40000 and we used 35000 we got 5000 here remaining. So what we do is we credit the purchases amount by that amount or reduce purchases, and we put it a corresponding debit account here would be to inventory under the assets. So we debit 5000 to inventory. So we had a beginning balance of $2,000 at the beginning of the year, and now we have added another 5000 here from what we hadn't sold in the, in, under our purchases account. So the purchase accounts get closed at the end of the period. The amount sold gets closed to the cost of goods sold, and the remaining amount gets cl uh, closed to the inventory account. So we end up with a zero amount here in purchases, starting out fresh for the next period and next year. Okay, if we had a physical count adjustment here and we didn't make it earlier under our uh, purchases account, we can go back here and adjust our inventory account. So if the inventory account differs from the balance in the inventory account or the purchases account, we can go and make an adjustment. So if the physical count is less than the inventory balance, uh, okay, in the account or the purchase account, we would credit or reduce inventory, let's say by $300 here in this case. And then the corresponding entry here would have debit or increased cost of goods by $300. So if the physical count were greater than the inventory balance, we would go in here and debit or increase inventory by a hundred, let's say $150. And then the corresponding credit entry would be under cost of goods sold here. We reduce that by $150.